Hey everyone, welcome back to Lucky Corners in Workers and Republic Soviet Resources. So, let's get uh, time rolling here. Uh, before I get stuck into any project this time, I just want to, t to uh, show here, uh, we have uh, some uh, borrowed money, and uh, we now have a sufficient income by the look of it to uh, dramatically retire the, uh, uh, dramatically pay down the uh, debts. I might, however, just leave that ticking in the background and just let the balance go up, right? Uh, and this is all down to the uh, bauxite uh, exports, uh, which... Uh, the uh, refined bauxite exports. Because those are doing a uh, pretty solid, uh, if we go on export, so uh, if we go last month, uh, well, we exported uh, 200, uh, 200, K in uh, uh, in crops, but we exported 200K in bauxite, right? Uh, and the crops, uh, wait, is that coming from up here? Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, anyway, uh, the 200,000 in, uh, in bauxite, 175,000 in coal, right? Meanwhile, our imports um, last month, uh, only, uh, only 130K, 140K in food and some other stuff, right? So that, uh, that has uh, significantly turned the balance around. Now, the food export is, or the crop export is going to uh, drop off relatively quickly. Um, Once the, uh, you know, once all of that stuff uh, sorts out. Though I might want to add a few more fields up here, given the how lucrative that is. Uh, but in the meantime, what I've been working on is laying out a new town where we're going to make iron, or make iron, uh, extract iron. Now, uh, I got the basics of uh, you know most of the stuff sorted out here, uh, where I'm going to put things. But uh, there's still a couple things like power, right? Uh, I need to establish the power situation here, uh, which I haven't yet done. So I'm going to put in a couple of. Um, uh, infrastructure bits here, uh, substations, that's what they are. So I'll put a substation down here, which covers most of the stuff down here. I'll put one in here. I'll put one in here. Yeah. And I'm going to put I'm going to put one in up here as well, which is going to need to be about here, right? And I'm also going to need um, a, a power transformer, right? One of these, uh, which um, actually, uh, I'm going to go with this one. Uh, which I will put right here. Yeah, I'll put it right there. Okay, and then I can grab wires going up like this. And then I can bring... I can bring power lines 
down like this. Okay. Kind of like that. And I can bring another one down. Um, in case you're wondering, I don't mind stacking them up like this just because of the way the scaling works in the game. Um, uh, it, uh, it's just a thing where uh, you know, you'd, uh, you'd be able to uh, squish it together a little bit uh, in uh, real life uh, that you can't do in the game at this scale. Okay. Okay, so that is the power distribution. Now, I'm also going to need a power station. Uh, and uh, I'm kind of wondering uh, what, uh, what sort of power station I should put in up here, right? Uh, because I, I think I need to have a separate power supply up here uh, so I don't share the fate with uh, this one, right? Now it has it has capacity available, but uh, I don't want to uh, rely on that, right? Long long distance. So uh, that means I'm going to want a power station. Now I could go for a coal power plant uh, because I'm going to have to bring coal up here anyway, uh, which. Which is something, you know, which might be the thing to do. But I could also look at uh, solar, but that doesn't produce at night, uh, and wind. Um, you know, and I don't think, I don't think those are going to work out particularly well either. So I think that does leave me with coal, right? And yeah, so that would mean I'd need to put a, hmm, I'd need a coal supply up here as well. Uh, I could possibly supply the, hmm. Uh, or do I just bring a power line up from this uh, this operation down here? Um, well, I could bring it across from here. Can I? No, I don't think I can. Um, why don't I get a high voltage... Um, line. Um, go with a 15 megawatt one. Oh, I could pull one off here. Yeah, I could. You know what? I think that's the thing I'm going to do. So I can bring this off. Uh, like this, and then bring it up along the uh, rail line. Yeah, along the rail line. Okay, we come up to here, and yeah, okay. I can continue up the rail line. Uh, it could come like this, like this, and then it can come up like this, over here, and into there. Yeah, 
Um, no. Uh, yeah, let's try that again. Uh, it comes out here and then into there. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That I think is, uh, is what I want to do. So I'll actually get that one building right away because that's going to be uh, an important one. Um, right. And the rail stuff is doing a thing here. Right. Okay. Okay, well, what I can do, I can, I can signal up to here, actually. So, yeah. Right. Well, uh, the rail stuff is going to continue getting built up into here, right? And that will, that will make some, some progress on things. Um, right. Uh, something that I think might be worth doing is uh, building this and these. Uh, by chopper. Yeah. Can't build that one by chopper. Okay. Um, build those two. Right, okay. Okay, building stuff by chopper is not the worst thing we can do. Also build the warehouse. Okay. Uh, right, I was uh, going to put a chain signal here and a block signal here and a block signal here and a chain signal here okay that gives me a siding and then down here yeah Okay. Well, that will give me a, a passing sighting there. Okay. Why did it slow down there? Probably because it was uh, repathing, maybe. Uh, what are you doing? Oh, okay. So I grab you. Uh, I'm going to have to put a fueling station up here if I hadn't haven't already too yeah probably along here okay so I okay that is queued okay that is queued yeah I just need the one going into there initially yeah. Yep. Okay. Right. Okay. That's all queued up and it is constructing. So 
That is good. Right. Well, uh, there's half a million rubles now. So... Uh, you know, stuff is, is happening. Let's just, uh, uh, just observe the, um, bauxite train load up and, uh, see how, see how that, uh, comes out, right? Um, there it goes, loading up, and we're going to... And it's uh, 77k per train load. Yeah. Uh, so that's a pretty solid... Uh, pretty solid uh, income generator there. Now, we're, we're paying 78k per, uh, per month here on debt service. So... Uh, uh, if I were to retire some of these 250k ones, uh, we can drop this quite a bit. So that's dropped it by 13, uh, 13k. And... Uh, yeah, our total debt is now under 2 million rubles. Yeah. Uh, so that's that's what I'm doing. It's by reducing the minimum monthly, uh, this uh, is more resilient uh, against other expenses, right? Uh, so I'm going to... Uh, I'm probably going to need a train distribution office to handle the warehouse thing here. Yeah, probably. Hmm. But no, I was going to use uh, road cargo. Right. Um, yeah, I was going to. Uh, that'll bring the meat in, at the very least. Um, yeah. Okay, well, uh, we have here... Yeah, I might use the train to bring in the uh, regular stuff there. Because, I mean, warehouse, right? Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, how's this coming? Ah, uh, it's just coming, right. Ah, okay. This is, uh, this is going to finish first, right. Okay. Well, anyway, that can keep uh, constructing its stuff up here. Uh, yeah, things will eventually get done. It'll be, it'll be uh, fine. Yeah, it'll be fine. Okay, now if we check in on here, uh, export. this month is right last month yeah that was a pretty big export month because the uh, the crops came in right okay things are things are moving along reasonably decently there uh, 
those are finished. Oh, right. Uh, it would be uh, particularly... No. Uh, no. Um, useful to uh, build uh, a few of these uh, roads, too. Uh, oh, I can gr no, I can grab this. Okay, you can do that, right? Yeah. Okay, now I can also build this and this, right? Okay. Well, that will get some uh, some road construction. Wait. How is that one reachable? How? Oh. Oh. No, we're not going to queue that one up. Okay. Right. No, in the interest of uh, things, you know, getting built or something, we'll just let things, uh, you know, take along a bit here. Ah, uh, this uh, main power trunk up into the area is uh, largely complete, so uh, that will definitely be useful. Okay. Well, and then we'll just let things continue uh, rattling along here. Yeah, yeah it seems like uh, something that could be, uh, you know, functional or something, having it rattle along. Hmm. I think I'm at the point here where I'm going to have to start uh, running time forward and letting construction projects finish. Now, I don't want to build a forward construction operating base up here uh, because I don't think I'm going to need a lot of um, uh, long haul construction up here once it's built, right? Uh, and uh, as you saw, I could just assign the uh, construction projects up to here, right? So, and while the chopper is not hugely efficient, I could add a couple more choppers here, actually. That would speed it up. So, um, if I was to buy a new mechanism, chopper, right, uh, the MI-10... Um, yeah, the MI-8 is, right, uh, cargo, just the MI-10 for cargo, but it's pretty Big, but I need to borrow a bunch of cash to buy a couple of these. You know, this might actually be a good reason to borrow. Uh, so I, I think I can buy three of them here. Yeah, I think I can. So... We'll grab... A 500k loan, right, for each one that I buy. So borrow, buy, borrow, buy, borrow, 
buy. Okay. So that gets us uh, some more of those. Right. And... Uh, I can go ahead and clear some of these older ones with the excess. Right. Okay. Uh, we're up to 75k monthly again, but uh, I think it's going to be worth having the uh, choppers here. Right. Okay. So that's more. Uh, more stuff can be delivered by chopper faster, right? Uh, and I think that's probably fine. Right. Okay. Good. I think that's enough of that. But I do honestly think it'll. It'll be a good idea to um, uh, wind time forward a bit and get some stuff actually built. Yeah, probably not a bad idea. Now, where are we getting our... Uh, chopper workers from here okay well we should be fine there we have 300 without um, without their own flat right uh, which I'm actually okay accumulating a few of those because as soon as I uh, build the housing up here people will move into them then at least that's the theory Now, I might have gone overboard with uh, uh, reducing my ruble balance there. Right. Well, uh, you know, it is, a th it is what it is, right? Um, yeah. Okay. Well, that stuff can just uh, keep ticking along. Right. I think that's probably enough for this episode. Yeah. Now maybe try and wind it forward for the next one. Maybe give you a time lapse or something. Uh, just to see see it uh, uh, building some more stuff, right? Uh, getting stuff uh, constructed, having things go wrong, whatever. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll try and do a time lapse on that. I'm, I'm not 100% sure, actually. Uh, I'll decide that once I'm uh, recording the uh, next episode. But anyway, uh, we've got bauxite exports going. Uh, we've got uh, construction on Iron Town underway. Uh, we've got you know a decent uh, a decent situation overall, I think. But anyway, uh, as I said, I'm going to put the cut here. So. Uh, if you do want to support the channel, I do have a Patreon. The link will be in the description uh, if you're at all interested. If not, well, you can definitely ignore that, and that'd be fine. Uh, but aside from all of that, uh, see you back next time.